What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as a D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and OneDrive for Business, and we're going to look at the action which is list files in root folder. So this action allows you to get all the all the files and all the items of all the folders inside of the root folder for your OneDrive for Business. From there you can do any number of things with that. So let's take a look at it today. So in Power Automate here, I've got a trigger here, which is a OneDrive business trigger of when a file is created. I'm going to ignore the trigger, I'm just going to run from a previous test. I'm going to click on new step, and then I'm going to type in OneDrive for business. Uh, we we'll choose that connector, and then we'll scroll down to um, list files in root folder. So at this point, we need no more additional steps. If I run this now uh, and just test this out, we just want the previous tests. This will just go off and this will bring back a list of all my files and all my folders. Um, and we've got all of this information down here. So that's really cool. Um, and that, that's great. But we could do, um, you know, th this has got everything in here. So this is like, this has got Xena Warrior Princess uh, in here. You know, it's got all these, all these different things. So if I look at my OneDrive business, I've got all this sort of stuff in here. Uh, I don't know why I've got a picture of Xena Warrior Princess, but why not, you know? Uh, I've got a picture of cats in here. I've got different flows and, and, and stuff like that. Oh, it's not as broken. Uh, but yeah, I've got, I've got loads of information in here. But maybe I want to do something more useful. So what we'll do is we will add a new step in. So we'll add a filter. So in the data operations, there is a filter array. I've tried this before in a previous video. It's a great function. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the body of the array because that comes back in, a, in an array. Um, so that's fine for me to work with. And then what we will do is we'll choose the is folder. So uh, is folder. Uh, and then we're going to say uh, is folder equal to true. So what this will do is this will just filter that array that we've got. And this will um, say, okay, let's take this array and let's filter it and only give me the values that we're getting that where is folder equals true. So this is a great way to start pre-filtering your information before you use it in other steps. Uh, and then once we've filtered that, what we'll do is we will count. So we want to find out how many folders there are inside of my root folder. So if I go to compose, create compose action, I can add a piece of dynamic content, or an expression. So the expression I'm going to use is, I'm going to use length. So I'm going to say length. And then the length that I want to check is actually the body of that returned, um, that returned function, uh, that filtered array. So filter array, body, uh, we're going to stick that in there. So this is saying, right, give me the length of that filtered array. So I'll hit escape, that'll go in there, and then we'll test this out. So what we should see here is we're going to list all the files inside the root folder. Then we're going to filter it and only bring back the, the ones where the folder is true, so where it is a folder. And then we're going to count them and we're going to see how many folders we've got. And then we'll count them in OneDrive business and see if I built this correctly. So let's click test. Hit save and test. Flow is running. Flow run successfully. We've got green ticks, even though the green bar is not at the top. Um, and if we expand the array, um, we can see we, we get all this information coming in. Um, where's the last one here? Last one is the Xena Warrior Princess. And in the output here, the last one is Power Automate folder or Power Apps folder. Um, so so that's, that's a good thing. And then the Compose action says 12. So if we go back to my OneDrive for business, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 folders. So we filtered the array, we checked the length of the array, and then we've got that output. So this is an example of combining multiple things together. So all, most of my videos, they're, they're all about all these individual parts. And that's the way I want to teach people is like, if you understand what the individual components do, then you can use them across any business application, any process, any automation that you want to do. It's all about learning what these individual pieces to do and then adding them together. So the list files in a root folder, there wasn't really that much to show you there. So I wanted to do something else. So we've listed the files, we've filtered the array, we've counted the number of folders that we had there for the number of items in that array. 
and there we go. So that's a great example of what I can do with it. But as always, I'll know what you guys use this for. So let me know in the comments down below, do you use list files in a root folder? Is it something that is a, a common action that you do? I don't work a lot with OneDrive for Business in this action. So what do you guys use it for? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please like and please share it with your friends. That's much appreciated. If you've not already, hit that subscribe button on my YouTube channel. And you can also check me out on Twitter and LinkedIn. And all my details are at the end of this video. So I hope this is useful and I'll see you next time.